Now this is going to blow everybody's mind or you're going to get really angry and want to leave. Uh, so what happens on a, when a, a defender crosses our face? What have we always traditionally said to do? Redirect. Well, well you hear pound the post, right? Yeah, pound the post, redirect. Yeah. Pound the post is what the term is. And uh, I'm going to tell you that I don't think that we should pound the post. And, and I know I'm insulting. It's almost like going against someone's religion or whatever because it's been said for so long. But what we're going to do instead of pound the post is we're going to brace the post. We're going to drop the post. Has anyone heard that before? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, someone from the Lions talked about it here a couple years ago. Okay. Yeah. So you, you have to pound the, you have to brace the post. Here's the issue, here's the issue and I'm going to explain this. So I don't want to I don't want to confuse anybody about it. I want to be real clear what I mean. Okay. So what I say before, coach, if you're up here and and now if I'm going to go ahead and let's say I'm a right guard, okay? And you go across my face here. Boom. If I if I if I pound the post here and what is he going to do to my inside hand? He's going to knock it. He's going to try to knock it down or attack it. Okay, and so let me just show you. Let me actually prove, try to prove this to you with your, your body. So you're going to be, you're the right guard. Okay, so put a hand on me here. Okay, so you, you strike me here. You're good. Now, now I'm, now I'm, I'm going to go across your face and I want you to pound the post. Okay, here, boom. So, so, so see how, how strong are you from this position? <laughs> Very strong. Why? Because uh, your foot, because you have one, watch this. So if I'm in this position, you cross, uh, I'm the left guard now, and you cross my face, and I'm trying to pound the post, now, now push on me. This way? Yeah, just push me this way. What did I have to do? You had to put your foot, you had to put your post back. I had to brace my foot, my foot, yeah. okay? So what I'm saying is when you get, and the other thing I'm doing, okay, now imagine this. So I'm finding a position, I'm, I'm in recovery mode at that point. That's because you, you would have to do the same thing. And that's what you would naturally do is if you're pounding, you're like, oh, shoot, oh, you gotta drop it to try to get back to position of strength. The problem with pounding the post too is we're short with our arm. For example, I'm trying to walk through this. I'm a right guard and you're just gonna cross my face here. Is that up? Here, I'm short, I don't have much power on that hand. If, I mean, I'm talking, you're trying to hit me down, down the downhill. Like, come this way, don't turn your shoulder so much. Okay, I'm that. So, um, so I go here, and he comes here, and I, oh, that's not a strong position to be in. Terrible. So as opposed to this, watch this now. If I brace the post, let me make sure I'm, go real slow. So I'm going here, set up. I'm back to this position here. I'm braced my post, but I'm not, what I'm not suggesting is that we're opening, I'm not turning, okay? This is what I want everyone to be clear about. I'm not doing this and then here, not that. I'm just dropping it because this position here, okay? You're gonna rush me, push on me. Now I have to drop it, I go again. Starting here, go ahead. I'm already, I'm already strong. I'm already in good position. You guys get that? So what we're teaching people to do is understand on the cross face, we want to automatically brace the post as the man attacks our midline. Okay? What I mean by that is I'm a three, you're a right guard. And I come here, I, as soon as I hit your midline, you go to front throw punch, I'm gonna knock the hand down. See, he's he's trying to pound the post. He's short and he's weak. Okay? Now drop it. Come here, boom. Oh, it's kind of, I know it's awkward, it's footwork. I've never, never done this. So, I'll show you guys examples of it on the film. I'm going to walk through it. Okay. Set hut, here. So I'm going to, I'm going to oh, be the guard. Set hut. Here. Now look how far I drop it, not that far. Does it help with the shoulder thing too? Yeah. You, you long, that's why it's I want to be longer. longer. I want to be longer. I'm stronger. Okay, so, this may not be, look, does everybody understand that was, like, that was like hard for me to do. Like as a guy who oh, yeah, because you post my whole life. It's like, only because you've only done it your whole life. Yeah, you know? yeah, it was like very difficult. Right, but like what we've taught guys to do, so you'll see guys in uh, the Cowboys here, this film, if you can anticipate it and develop it through drilling, that's what I'm getting at, then you're gonna be your strongest. You can stone the guy in the line of scrimmage as opposed to feel like, you know, oh shoot, pound the post, all of a sudden in recovery mode and hop. So yeah, it's boom, boom, boom. So it's boom, 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 boom. I'm just dropping that foot because we're strongest to the side where force comes, with the foot behind us. You guys get you know what I'm saying? Everybody, yeah. everybody mad yet? Or? Yeah. Any disagreements? Okay, so if the force is coming to my right side, I want my right foot braced. If the force is coming to my left side, I want my left foot braced. I just have to stay, I, all the same rules apply, we want to be square. That keeps, yeah, it keeps you square. Okay. It keeps you square. So we drill this, and I'm gonna show you some drills, okay? So, at the Cowboys, Okay, we did this drill, and I'm gonna show you guys both the drill and then the film. So this is the drill we do. Watch, that's uh, Zach Martin, he's bracing his inside foot, he's a right guard. Watch his hips too, watch, he's doing exactly what we're teaching. Tyron Smith there, 
He's dropping the brace foot versus in a flat inside rush. Okay? They drill this a lot. Watch his hips come through. Watch him strike the pillar outside hand. All this mechanics we discussed, right? Now here it is in competition. Drops it, now he's, he's firm. Okay, here's one. This one's kind of more of a, a TE game. It's not gonna be perfect, but he has to drop the post to firm up. If he tries to stay, tries to pound that post, he doesn't have, he's shorter with his hand. Okay, he's not nearly as strong. He's gonna ultimately have to recover and pound it. Or, or, or drop it and recover. So these are, these are just subtle. We're not talking about opening our post, right? We're talking about just boom, boom, there. That's it right there, see? So you're dropping, but you're not opening the hip. You're not opening like, your hip. The hip, the hip is like. That's the, the key. Well, yeah, there's so you're, you're, Watch. You're, so if you, yeah, exactly. So I, is everybody clear on that? Like, is people, that's the thing people would, that's would, would not hip, agree with. That's is, why we pound the post is to keep the hip up. Exactly. Well, I don't know why we do it to be honest. That's why I've always thought. Yeah. But I was that's no, I always I've did it too. Thought. I was like, we're pounding the post. We're like, okay, I'm getting a position, but now I'm short and I'm weak because again, that side of force, I, I, we're all going to get peeled back. So we see it a lot with players because we've been trained to do it. But what I'm saying is like, if we drilled it and we're not opening, and that's where I think I've never, you know, I, I want everyone to be really clear about that. See, I'm not saying, if I go here, oh, cross face, open, no. It's just boom, 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 boom. Okay, and watch, well, now my hip's involved. Yeah. Watch my hip when I do this. Set here, boom, boom. That's gonna, stay, that's gonna, laying a ton of power on some dude, he's gonna be stoned at the line of scrimmage. As opposed to going here, here, uh, now I'm fighting for my life because he's got, he's short, or I'm short with my arm and I don't have a, a brace foot in, in the, at the side of the force. The other thing is like, um, well let me show you something real quick with that drill. As we do that drill, go ahead and get on the bar again, is if I'm gonna go, okay, so you're gonna do it, we're gonna walk through it nice and slow. Okay. I'm gonna come here, right? I'm your left guard. Okay, I'm left guard. I come this way, boom, now I cross your face. You're gonna drop it and then, and then shoot, right? Ready, set, okay? So I knocked your hand down, right? So what I'm gonna do instead, is this is another detail, is if, uh, if I, I know that he's gonna attack my hand to the side of the rush. So I'm sitting here, boom, he goes inside, I added it on, but what did I do? I took it away, didn't I? Yes. And I'm long. My foot and hand work together, so watch my feet, I'm just gonna do it on air. Set here, here, boom. See how my hand comes back to my foot? Yeah. Now, now he's not going to knock my hand down. Are you guys facing this in high school? I know it's high level. <laughs> uh, yeah? yeah? Okay, because I mean, I think they're all doing that. Like if I'm a rusher, I'm going to attack you on one side. I'm going to probably try to attack your hand. I think that's going on at high school. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so this is why we're doing it. So if I'm sitting back here, boom, 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 okay? See how I'm dropping the foot to the side of the rush with the hand. Hand and foot helps me land it long.